Well, welcome back everyone to Los Monsteros Zoo. Always good to have you guys here. Whether you're new, whether you're old, you guys are always welcome in this happy little joint. My name is Leaf and it's always so great to have you guys here. Now, what's on the docket for today? Hmm, let me consult my notes. So today we are actually working on a beautiful Gower habitat. The Gower mod is originally made by Monsoon. Um, and it's just such a wonderful, wonderful piece of art that I really want to include in my zoo. Specifically with this section that we're actually getting started on. Uh, we're starting the kind of like wet zone. So in case if you guys are new to this happy little series, what I wanted to do in terms of like the outline of the India area. And yes, this is just the India area. I know I'm doing like a whole bunch of habitats within it. Uh, it's going to be quite a big section. That's because I've not built for India in so long. And I really want to give these guys like the biggest section of the zoo maybe not the biggest but i wanted to give them a strong section so essentially what i wanted to have go throughout this entire section was a little bit of a kind of storytelling in between the dry season and the wet season and it turned out so beautifully so the gowers do inhabit both dry and wet areas of india but i really wanted to have them in like the wet section just have it be a little bit more damp a little bit more moist in their section and that's kind of what we do so we use a lot more darker colors we use a lot more darker foliage as a way to simulate kind of like, you know, dense foliage, dense rainforest and whatnot. And you can see we're starting work on our viewing gallery first and foremost. I always do love building for the guests because after all, you are going to see this if you're touring the zoo from the guest perspective. You won't be able to tour it from like, um, say for example, the animal perspective. You totally can, but that's not how it's intended for. So usually... Throughout this entire zoo, I'm building with viewing points in mind, and I'm focusing on those. So I really wanted to have this big old kind of like a uh, structure, kind of like a shade structure, as a way to really help narrow down like where the guests should be viewing from, and it also gives them a nice sight line into both the elephants and the doll exhibits. I think that looks pretty good in the end. We'll see that later on in the cinematics. But you can see I have a little bit of a ramp going down, and I really want to have this be both, you know, kind of semi-modern along with like uh some nice old indo-malayan kind of architecture and stuff like that uh, a little bit of like cambodian influence as well just to have it be a lot more centralized within the concept that you are kind of trekking through india and a little bit into southeast asia i think that turned out pretty good so we do use the stained wall pieces over there as a way to bring a little bit more of a modern flair because do keep in mind this is our san diego themed zoo not really themed but inspired i would say so we're having a lot of a influence on terms of you know um modernism a little bit more like clean look to things and that's something i do want to keep on going forward with throughout the entire project so over here you can see me start to do a few little different things i try and put some planters down there but i do that later down the line what i also do i kind of cover up the rest of the viewing gallery with these nice little beams i try and have this be as closed in as possible make sure it feels a lot separate from like you know the rest of the viewing areas and I don't know, I'm just very happy with that. Essentially what I do over there, I want to have a little bit of an organically shaped plaza. Maybe if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments down below if you do want a little bit of a walkthrough in terms of how I work my paths because I do have a very unique way of doing it. I like to think, I like to play around with it, I like to delete stuff, and in turn deleting makes stuff, if that makes sense. Uh, you delete in order to create. If yeah, that, that makes no sense, but you know what? I think it makes sense. What we also do, we also add a little bit of fencing over there just as precautionary because over there it is on level with the Gowers, but we have enough like separation in terms of both that like cladding gravel kind of stuff, which they wouldn't want to walk on. They don't really prefer to walk on that stuff. It deters them far enough. Uh, and we also have like, you know, the cliff sides, which will be adding hot wire to later down the line i want to hold off on that just make sure i get all the layouts all set in stone first before we actually move on to infrastructure i can see us having a nice little episode that will basically cover like us doing all the backstage doing roads doing like you know signage other stuff that we might have missed all that kind of jazz and yeah that's about it what I also was inspired by, I was inspired by, I think it might have been Zoo Miami's, maybe it was San Diego's, maybe it was even their talking habitat. It was just a whole bunch of habitats. I wanted to have this nice tiered kind of look to this place, and in order to do so, I put down the Planet Zoo logs, 
and kind of made it so that they kind of identified elevation changes. So we kind of identify that even more with the little bit of sand on the bottom of it. It gives it a really nice effect that I really do suggest you guys try out, especially for bovine habitats. If you're building for like talking and stuff, I've seen that kind of trick be used. If you're building for bison, that's another way that they kind of integrate those kinds of habitats. It's a nice way to integrate some nice height changes as well. That's another trip. Trip. Nice. That's another trick I give out to all of you guys at home. Definitely work with height elevations. You never have a zoo that's just flat, unless if it's Riverbend Discovery Center, but we don't really talk about that zoo now, do we? Always build with elevations. <laughs> I'm playing zoo. You know I love you, buddy, but always play with elevations. Make sure you're changing stuff up in terms of that. Make sure you're always just making sure that everything looks nice and having nothing look the same as, you know, what's right next to it. If that makes sense. Do I make sense? I don't really know. Let me know in the comments if I make sense at all. Let me know if I've been making sense for this past year because I genuinely don't know. Uh, going through here, I'm also adding a lot more foliage as a way to deter them from really going off the sides. Uh, I wanted to make sure that they wouldn't really want to jump off the sides. They kind of have everything made out for them inside the habitat, but you never really know. Just making sure that I'm adding as many things as possible, just to make it feel a lot more dense, a lot more tropical. I also add some trees to the habitat as well. I forget what I actually add, but we'll see that in a little bit. Also using that beautiful, beautiful gate over there. I forget who it's by already. I want to say Bongo Hardwood, but it's probably not him. It was probably someone else, but they are in a previous episode. I made sure to note whoever like made the blueprints in this series. I will be sure to say them every single time. So always go check out the workshop for those creators. I do mention they do some wonderful stuff. And they put workshop items out there for you to use. They don't use it for like, you know, just fame, recognition. No, they do it for help. And can't we all just use a little bit of help sometimes? That's what I always like. Working over here on the rest of that viewing structure, you guys can tell I like to bounce between projects. Whenever I do build, I always love to just focus on, you know, a little bit of something, then move on to something I'm feeling a little bit more passionate about. And over here, I was determined to fix up the rest of this roof. I really want to do a custom roof, but it just wasn't really working out for me. So I did something very lackluster, um, but it works extremely well for the context of the area. It's just some nice wood beams on top of each other. It looks very good in the end product. And it also provides, I guess, a lot of shade because we are building in San Diego. While it really isn't the hottest part of California, it still would get pretty warm. So guests would want some nice, cool, shady places to go. This is definitely one of the places where you would want to go if it does get a little bit hot out and you could just chill out and watch the Gowers seems to be a nice little area for them to just chill out. We're also adding a little bit of a trim to the wood viewing structure over here, just to make it feel like it has a little bit more oomph, make it feel like it has a little bit more um, direction, if that makes sense. So we add that throughout the entire exterior of it. We don't really add it to the interior all that much, but it does help to really bring the build up in terms of, you know, viewing. It makes it look a lot better in the end. I really do love the colors of the wood that we included over there. It's very dark, but I think that actually helps to accentuate the foliage around there because a huge part of like this area I want to be is focusing on the foliage and making sure that everything looks nice, making sure that everything feels nice, bright, colorful, all that kinds of stuff, but more so colorful focused on like, you know, the plants and stuff. We also do bring that back on the inside as well, making sure that everything flows nicely in the interior. Uh, nothing really too crazy with decorations on the inside though. I really want to include some benches. I think I'll go back and like the infrastructure episode and take care of that when I do get the chance. Unfortunately, right now, I'm probably on vacation by the time this comes out. Maybe I'm not, who the hell really knows, but I want to have this out for you guys and have all these videos lined up for you guys. So we'll focus on infrastructure when I get home, when I actually have time to relax and stuff like that. But we're essentially just adding the rest of our molding on in terms of like, you know, the curbing, the curbing. No, not holding the curbing. 
so we just add that. We do a kind of rough job because I do know that I wanted to go back and kind of restructure how um, this plaza is laid out. So I just leave the definitive parts over here. And then later in another episode, I think we will be building for the Garials. We will have a little bit of a touch up episode in terms of the, like that plaza. It'll look nice. It'll look sexy. It already does. I'm so excited about it, guys. But essentially, we just make this a nice planted area. We're using a lot of gravel over here to make a nice dry bed kind of garden. Uh, this is oftentimes like used in more drier areas, a lot more arid areas. I know a lot of gardens in like, you know, Arizona and stuff, they don't really opt for mulch. They actually opt for gravel, which is a pretty good, like, you know, substrate for a lot of plants, especially cacti. Making sure there, I was looking for a Gower statue. Unfortunately, there really isn't one, which isn't surprising because we don't have them in the game officially. Uh, we're also adding stuff over here as a way to help solidify this viewing structure, make it feel a lot more like, you know, organized, make it feel a lot more like it's supposed to be here. And we do not really cover the rest of the like theming and stuff. I do apologize. I was not recording. It was a little bit stressful to get this all done. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the B-roll. You'll be seeing a lot of this in the next coming weeks. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode in particular. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like down below. It always does help me out. Maybe even comment if you're feeling particularly spicy. But all that being said, I want to thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little episode. It really is so fun to build for these animals because they're so beautiful. Again, go check out the Gower mod by Monsoon. He did such a beautiful job on it. And I think I'll leave you guys be right there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.